Good morning and welcome to our webinar today. On behalf of Right Selection, a very warm welcome to each and every one of you here with us today. It's an absolute pleasure to uh, continue hosting webinars week on week with international global thought leaders and speakers like we have today. Just to give you a brief about Right Selection, our organization is a father and son family business. Uh, been here for over 25 years, transforming lives both personally and professionally. And uh, whilst we're in the current lockdown, it gives us a great pleasure to continue providing high value learning experiences to educate, engage and inspire you to take action. Today, um, I will be sharing with you, as I said, um, and before I introduce our speaker, I just wanted to share with you a quick uh, video, if I may. This is from Building Blocks. As you know, we provide these web webinars complimentary, and it's a way of our serving the community in the time of need. But there are many people who need our help, so it gives us an opportunity to support an NGO initiative called Building Blocks, and they provide free schooling for children in many slums all over India. Currently, the families in the slums are without work and starving and need our help. So each family uh, is here they for a thousand rupees a month they get a chance to take care of their families so I'm just going to share a quick short video before we start our webinar today thank you I'm the founder of family development services we have started this organization about 16 years ago in Bangalore and uh, our focus mainly is on education for children from slums where most of the parents are daily laborers. They go out every morning, earn funds, and come back home with money. So today, with the COVID-19 situation and the lockdown, many, many people are not able to go out to work and earn money. So that has put them in a very critical condition because the children are at home and there is no food to be fed. So we started a food bag distribution. We have distributed about 2,000 200 bags. Each bag is about 25 kilos with rice, dal, all the essential stuff. We have totally so far distributed 50,000 kilos or more a little bit. So the need is so big that 50,000 kilos is nothing. The number of people just in this one slum is about 2,500 families. And what we have touched is about 300 families. So the need is big and we want to appeal to you to help the people in this slums where people are in desperate situation. Thank you so much for the Gagladi family for stepping out and wanting to help uh, with an appeal to all of you that are going to be approached by Gautam and Ram. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you. For those interested to support our good cause, then there is a link being shared by email and in the chat box. Before we begin today and I introduce our speaker, I'd just like to take the opportunity to welcome each and every one of you once again on behalf of Right Selection, myself and our speaker, Mustafa Hamwi. Uh, just to get a sense of, you know, obviously you've shown interest in this webinar because you have an interest in using this valuable time that we have to publish a book. So it gives us a sense of what's stopping you from you know, writing that book, um, because that will give us a sense in how we can add most value to this webinar with you. So I'm about to just publish a poll that will give us a sense of where we are. So for example, what is holding you back from writing your book? First and foremost, is it you're overloaded and you don't have time? That would be answer number one. Secondly, you uh, don't have the money now. That's the cost and time needed. One is the time concern. Perhaps some of us also are unsure about what topic to write on. You're confused about writing and publishing process and how will I market my book? So just give us a sense from the vote um, of your answers. Thank you. I'll just take a few more seconds to allow everyone to answer this question because our speaker wants to ensure he delivers high value and ensures he sort of 
answers each of these questions based on where you're standing today and what's holding you back from writing your own book. Great. All right, so I can see that about 30% are not sure where to start, 15% to make, not sure how to make it happen. Cost is a minimum concern. And another big concern is they're not sure what topic to write on and what's their area of expertise. And the last but not least, when I write this book, how will I market this book globally? Great, that's, uh, that's a good sense of the audience. Thank you. I'm going to now take the opportunity to introduce our speaker for today. Mustafa Hamwi is not only a dear friend, he's an author, coach, ranked by Marshall Goldsmith as one of the top 100 coaches in the world. He's an international speaker and he's the CEO of Passion Printer Publishing. He's been endorsed by both Marshall Goldsmith and the late Tony Buzan. I have a copy of his book here. It's something I highly recommend uh, each of you get a copy of. It's something I'm really enjoying reading, not only because it's just an, ins it's an inspirational book, but it's, it's a book that makes you think and put pen to paper, because above all, strategy without action is no strategy at all. Please join me in welcoming Mustafa Hamwi. Thank you, Mustafa. Thank you very much, Gautam. Usually this is when I get on stage with music and I get everybody to clap, so let's assume there's some music here. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to say a very, very happy birthday to you because I know it's your birthday and what a great uh, gift to celebrate uh, your birthday with us. So now I see we've got about what, 100, 110 people. So that's a big birthday party online. So a big you know, happy birthday to you uh, and to anybody else who's out there celebrating also this, their birthday. I say every day is a birthday. Every, every morning we wake up, we're blessed with a new day. Let's make the best out of it. Uh, second thing is I want to say to everybody who's listening, all of you guys are so amazing and so awesome for being here today. I know these times are tough, they're challenging, and if we actually look at them in a reflective manner and we look inwards, they will be the best time of our lives because this is a time of really looking inwards. If you think about it, this is the first time in history, in humanity kind, where all of us are actually united for one purpose and one cause throughout history there have been wars there have been different camps different parties politics army military nuclear stuff all of that has gone out the window and the whole planet has been unified fighting one cause and it's a great time for us to look inwards and tune in to what's happening around the world uh, so i salute you all and i say well done to all of you i'm honored to be here today i'm thankful to gotham for inviting me to share with you this great experience of of how to become an international author because i can tell you one thing it is something that transformed my life uh, both on a personal level on and on a career level. So I'm happy to share as much as I can within the coming maybe what, 30, 30, 40 minutes. Maybe we'll do part of this. I'll share a bit of my story. I would like then to share a little bit of the roadmap of how to get to be an international author and we'll open the floor maybe in the last 10 minutes for some further Q and A's. All right, so Gautam, I know you and me had a quick chat also on how to, you know, how, how to narrate the session. So we thought possibly people would benefit a little bit in understanding why am I doing what I'm doing? Uh, why, why am I in the books business? And why did I even decide to write my own book, which you were also part of that journey? So maybe we start there? Sure, absolutely. It'd be, it'd be great to hear your story and your journey from where you are today and you know what brought you from your corporate life uh, back in the day to uh, to being the author and international speaker. would love to hear your journey. Beautiful. So so the journey started, I mean, in the early days, actually, this is when you and me met. Uh, I Actually, before you and me met, I've been in Dubai since 2000. I used to run some of the most successful events and entertainment ventures in Dubai. Um, I used to run an event agency called B Marketing, a modeling agency called Invoke. I was a partner in both and I was the managing director. Uh, and my partners and our holding group were the owners of the 400 nightclub, at the Cavalli Club. So for those of you who party, they would know those scenes. And even if not, you'd know Roberto Cavalli, the designer. So that's one of the most iconic. It was close to a $30 million investment uh, nightlife venue. 
So, so daytime, I'm running conferences, seminars, events. Nighttime, I'm just partying. So you can really imagine how this life left me. It really burned, burned me out big time. I actually had a lot of hair, by the way, so, back in the days. So, so I got fed up with my life, long story short, I and mean, we don't have enough time to go through it. And I left everything and bought a one-way ticket to India. So that was in 2012. On my journey in India, I met a Swami who's been in caves for 13 years, had a lot of interactions with him that changed my life and then had a medical condition of which I healed through natural uh, means. Uh, so I went 2012, came back 2013, and I was invited to speak at an event, a TEDx style type of an event. It was in Knowledge Village. There was about 350 people at that event. I just got on stage and I shared my story, which was called Cavalli to Manali. Cavalli is the resemblance of the lifestyle and the venues that we were involved in, and Manali is where I met my Swami in India. And that Cavalli to Manali story was about 20, 30 minutes, similar to what I just told you, obviously with a lot of details, but that the highlights were the same. And a few months later, I'm sitting in Media One Hotel working. And that was just something I was doing on the side just because I wanted to share. And a random person passing by goes, hey, you're that speaker guy. I said, yeah. He goes, you did your talk about India. I said, yeah. He goes, you changed my life. I was like, wow. That's what I want to be doing. That's the calling that I've been, you know, dying for. And I, you know, quit everything 2014, uh, January 2014. I decided this is what I'm going to be doing full time. That's my sign from God, the universe. And that's what I'm going to be pursuing. I get into that and, you know, what would you guess? I bought a one-way ticket, have that transformational story that happened in my life. And I have somebody who unsolicited, in unsolicited manner came to me and said, you changed my life. So do you, you know, and then I went and became a big international speaker. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's what we all hope. Okay. That's what we all hope. That life is so simple. And I just buy one, we take it. I come back, everything works out. It was farthest from the truth. I would try to get on stages. I would try to speak. I would try. And, and, and even with, a, you know, with, with an acknowledgement of a, of a funny story that me and Gotham always shared is that I even reached out to Gotham early in my stage and he politely kind of indicated that they only work with international speakers and well-established speakers because, I mean, I understand at that time he was getting everybody who was aspiring to be a speaker knocking his door. And, and you know, at the end of the day, he has to mind his, his business also and delivering value to his clients. And I had no credibility. <clears throat> so on one side, I was, I was thinking, I have the passion, I have the purpose, I have the true genuinity there. But on the other side, I'm looking at a lot of other people that don't necessarily have the, you know, I'm not here to judge or evaluate them, but there were a lot of people by skill set comparison and by genuinity of a story comparison might have not been at the same level, but they were getting the speaking gigs, they were getting paid, they were getting acknowledged. And I, would, I was just going crazy. And I know a lot of our listeners feel the same. You know, how many of you actually feel that you know, you've got something to add, you've got value to add, and you are you know, uh, not being valued and not being given the opportunity that you deserve? And I could not understand what was happening. So I had to keep working hard at it. I was still passionate, still passionate. I worked at it. And I eventually broke through into you know, the right selection events and started becoming an MC. And from an MC, my, my sessions, rightfully, people started liking what I'm doing. My five minutes became 10, my 10 became 15, my 15 became 20. But still, I was not getting that, that big peak, that hockey stick peak that I was hoping for. Luckily, I was interviewing personalities like Marshall Goldsmith, uh, Tony Buzan, uh, Brian Tracy, who, whom all of them, collectively, when I would ask them, what should I do, said to me, write a book. And I'm like, listen, if, if, this, if these legends that I look up to are telling me write a book, maybe I just need to be a good student and follow through. That's one thing that's a theme throughout my life. I'm a good student. When the teacher tells me something, I execute with military precision. I complain later. They said, do it. I'll do it. I'll understand later. And I just went on and actually co-authored, the, got, got the opportunity to co-author a book with Brian Tracy, which was a collaborative book. So this is a book where multiple people get involved. Each one writes a chapter, but all of them talking about the same topic. So at that time it was around success. So I said my story about success, someone else says their angle on story of success and so on. And as we continued uh, w with this, 
then I suddenly went from like, if there was five deals on the table that were not closing, all of them closed within two, three weeks, the minute the book was available. And I actually remember that it was Gautam, you helped me with, with importing the books because at that time I didn't have yeah. a license. Yeah. And, and yeah. I said, listen, take as many copies as you need and send them to the clients and we converted immediately few clients on the, you know, on, on that journey. Then time started passing and then I started finding myself raising not only my conversion rate, but also raising my rate. Yeah. So now I'm charging more money at the beginning. I was kind of, yeah, okay, let me get paid. You know, let me get paid. Uh, you know, I'm okay with for free. Well, a lot of us do those free, but there's a point where you need to pay the bills. Then once I got enough of that, then I started being able to charge a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars. And until, you know, recently my rate card and, and, you know, Gotham is on the call. He can vouch for that. My rate card asking is ten thousand dollars. Yeah. When I'm doing an international gig. If I'm doing yeah. it locally in a market when I'm available, I'm asking for 7,000 if there's no travel involved. And all travel accommodation costs are on top of that. So I went from zero into that 10,000 mark, which is fairly a good global standard. My brand being acknowledged, my, me getting a bigger following, having bigger impact. Because remember now by me reaching out to more people, I have more people coming to me and saying, you changed my life, thank you very much. And this is really what drove me. And all of this transformation, really started by me taking on the, the decision to write and publish a book. So this is why I, I got into writing the book. How I got into publishing books actually started by having a, a, a friend and a, and a fellow author who wrote a book, couldn't find a publisher. And as we're speaking, I see a lot of you know questions here. How can I find a publisher? Stay with me, guys. I'll answer all your questions. And by the way, stay with me. I, I provided Gotham with a publishing guide that details everything that I talk about in the process. So all I want you to do is just be present and be here to receive the information and then you'll get to download the document. So he, that friend reached out to me. He requested support in the publishing the book. He says, Mustafa, I know you published a book. You know, how can you help me? I said, yeah, you can go to these major publishers without mentioning name. Uh, a lot of them in the UAE are either magazine publishers, newspaper publishers, or what we call vanity publishers, none of them had the genuine love for a personal development, growth, spiritual, transformational type of books. These books take a lot of passion to, to work. It's not just a commercial deal. Um, so I sent him to a few, a few months back, he came, listen, I'm really not getting any help. Can you please help me with that? I said, man, it can't be that hard. I just picked up my contacts in Australia. I'm currently, by the way, in Melbourne, Australia, and the, the, the publishing house is set up here. We have representation in Dubai also. And I just made his book happen in a span of three months, uh, and he was published. Uh, from there, that specific person, actually his name, you'd all know him in Dubai. His name is, the they call him the Wolf of Real Estate, Muhannad al Wadia. He's the guru and the wolf of real estate in the UAE, he sold till date in excess of 1.2 million dirhams worth of books. And he sold a few million dollars worth of real estate deals at the back of his book. So if you understand the immense value, whether it's on your legacy, whether on spreading your message, whether on making money, whether on accelerating your business or accelerating your career, and that was pretty much the first book we published from that February. We, we came out around Jan, Feb, two years ago. February, two months ago, we celebrated onboarding 50 authors. That's five zero. We went from two to 50 in a span of two years. 100% of them are in the space of uh, transformational books, spiritual books, business growth, and personal growth books. So this is how we went from where we are into where we are today, where we help authors become international authors or aspiring authors become international authors. Great. Great. Would you, would you like to go into the questions Mustafa, or? We can to... quickly, let me scan quickly through the questions just to see if anything will not be covered. So I cater for it. Okay. Glad the connection dropped. Refresh your face. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, International speaker, not same as international author. Interesting point, and I think we've got Gotham, we can discuss that, but I, I have to say something, guys, about international speaker and international author. Uh, I'm gonna tackle the difference, but Gotham will vouch for that, and I told you in the story, uh, with all due love and respect to speakers, and I'm a speaker myself, but today's in today's age, speakers are a dime a dozen, okay? Just yeah. anybody can call themselves a speaker, 
TEDx has done the world a favor, but has done an, the industry of speaking a disfavor because TEDx is a beautiful platform to share knowledge, but it's not really, anybody can, can make a TEDx, anybody can, can call themselves a speaker, and there's nothing wrong with that. I started in that space. The question is, what are you going to do from an aspiring speaker to become an international speaker? All I can tell you that that super turbo boost to that journey is becoming an author, and I'll explain to you why. So that answers on that comment. Um, Title of my book is Live Passionately, guys. This is my recent book. It became an international bestseller in US, UK, and Australia. Obviously, Australia is where I'm based now, so it makes sense. Uh, I have so much content to publish, but finding difficulty putting it into word book form. Uh, Heron uh, Kakag, I will 100% assure you I will answer your question. Just stay tuned and, and listen carefully to everything I'm going to explain after this bit. I don't know how to start writing a book. I'm going to give you the guidance on this 100%, guys. I really need some suggestions on how to find a publisher for a book. If you wrote a content, we talk about that in step number five. So listen carefully. And on step number five, I'll tell you what to do with the publishing. Uh, and then we've got, yeah, happy birthday. Of course, you're doing a good job. Um, OK, OK, how old? Um, <laughs> OK. Sorry, Gautam, go on. No, no, I was going to say, if you want to, you can continue with the, with the flow of what you're sharing. And I will. I just want to make sure, yeah, I just wanted to make sure we're, we're covering all of them. I finished writing the book uh, easier than finding a publisher. Aparna, I'm going to explain to you what's the best options in publishing in, in number five. So with that, I think I'm just going to switch off from at least my view, the chat, so I'm not so distracted. And let's get on with, with what I call the blueprint. You'll hear that word a lot, by the way. I use the term blueprint because like building a building without having all the architectural designs and the blueprints is an utter waste of time. And people try to embark on journeys without having a clear plan. And a top level plan for me is a blueprint, which is the easiest thing I can share with you in, in this coming 15, 20 minutes. And you're going to stay tuned, guys. Gotham is going to share with you the whole publishing guide that I'm you know, giving you notes from. So just be present with me. OK, so all of you that are video so they can focus on yourself as well. Yeah. So so guys, but do me a favor. Stop asking questions. Stop debating, discussing. Uh, so we are all focused and we don't distract anyone. So this is what I call a five step blueprint. So there are five stages. Stage number one is going to be what is the reason that you should write a book? If you haven't written one. The second thing is the two steps to beat procrastination. Third thing is three things to think about before you start. Then I'm going to give you four steps to help you finish writing your book and possibly in a weekend if you haven't written it yet. And number five, we're going to talk about publishing. All right. So let's talk about the number one reason why you should publish a book. And I could simply tell you, no, it's not about book sales. I know most of you are hoping for that. I told you we have successes in book sales, but that's not the main reason why you should write a book. Yeah. The number one reason why you should write a book and why it's not book sales, because most people do not make any significant amount of money writing a book. And the chances that you will be part of that 1% is very, very minimal. And by the way, this is a conversation uh, me and Gotham were having with Dr. Marshall Goldsmith, I remember in the JW Marquis Marriott in Dubai over lunch. And he mentioned the same. He said, probably over 95% of all books ever written hardly ever sell more than 5,000 copies. And I'm sorry if this is a depressing news to you. Yeah. Uh, but the more important question is then why should you write a book if it's not about book sales? The simplest way I say it is author equals authority. Remember that author equals authority. Do I need to say more? Is that simple, guys? The word authority comes from the word author. So if you're really aspiring to become an authority on any topic that you are mastering, that you have passion for, then this is why you should write a book. You see, books get you attention and attention gets you business. Business could generate whatever you need, whether it's money or impact, could be a, a, an organization, a non-for-profit organization, could be a for-profit organization, but the book is going to get you that attention. So within that, we can compartmentalize all the reasons why you should write a book. And I want you to choose one, by the way, guys, okay? One of the following four. Choose now. We'll, I'll actually help you accelerate your writing 
journey, especially for those who said, oh, I haven't even started writing. Choose a reason. Do you want to write a book to become an authority in your field and build your personal brand globally? Number two is to share your story, spread your message and build your legacy. Okay, so if you've got a story to share, even if you don't want the publicity side of things, but you just want to share, which is why, how I started, by the way, guys. When I started first, I just wanted to share my story. And for those asking about the difference between a speaker and an author, you can share your story in a book, you can share your story on stage, but I promise you, a book has a lot longer shelf life over digital media. Attracting clients you will like, like is underlined, yeah? And scale your business. Because how many of you are in coaching and you end up or consulting and you end up attracting clients that potentially after a little bit of time make you lose your passion and make you regret the day why you got into this and feel more confused about what should you be doing these are the kind of clients you don't want and a book is going to actually resonate with the kind of clients that you like and those are the clients that you're going to start attracting and last but not least which seems to be one of the most common reasons people want to write a book is if you want to launch a speaking, coaching, or consulting business. So if you really want to become an authority so you can become a, a, a speaker who is highly paid and highly acknowledged as an authority, you want to have that book rather than just being a, what I call a me too speaker. Just like I'm a speaker because the next person is a speaker and everybody else is a speaker. You want to be an acknowledged international speaker, a book is, is no brainer. So you've got four reasons. Authority, attracting clients, sharing a story, and launch a speaking career. Choose one of those four as a first step, okay? I hope you all did so. Second thing is I'll give you a two-step approach. By the way, I like play on words, yeah? So it's one reason, two steps. So I'll give you two steps to beat procrastination about what's holding you back and how to overcome it, all right? So I'm going to give you the top, uh, and Gotham has already shared a lot of the reasons out there we group them and from experience remember for us to have published probably 50 books or working on 50 books now we sp speak to hundreds of people on monthly basis so i i have heard every single excuse you can guys talk about i've heard people who had uh family situations people who had divorces people who had loss of job people who had loss of money people who even had uh, mortality had had family deaths that happened there not to say that it's not a valid reason so grouping all of those things into five things i want you to choose one of them and i guarantee you're in one of those if you haven't written and published your book one is you are overloaded and do not have time that seems to be one of the most common i'm busy overloaded and don't have time hopefully with this space you have a lot more time now second thing is i don't have the money okay a second most common reason i don't have the money right now third thing is you are confused about the writing and publishing process okay so you're not sure how to write or how to publish fourth one is you are not sure if you have the right content so you kind of know you have some content but you're not sure if it is the right content and fifth which i find the funniest is i'll do it tomorrow yeah so let me tell you the antidote to all of those five is understanding that they are all called excuses yeah guys i want you to all everybody say that please say whatever i just said i hope you chose one yeah say it's an excuse okay it's an excuse and i'll tell you why and what's the antidote to each of those number one for those who say we are overloaded and we do not have time my answer is simple focus Everybody's got 24 hours. I got 24 hours. Gotham's got 24 hours. Uh, Dr. Marshall Goldsmith got 24 hours. He's got 55 books under his belt. Most of our authors by profile are actually married with kids. Some of them have two to three kids and have a day job and they still manage to write a publisher book. Number two, you don't have money. Successful entrepreneurs think, how can I get return on investment? Nobody has money, guys. And some of the people that have published and became most successful, when they came to us, they were probably the least financially stable when they embarked on the journey of writing, 
but the books started generating return on investment for them. For those of you in finance, you understand the difference between a profit and loss statement and a balance sheet. When you look at it as an investment, you put the money on the balance sheet. You don't put it on your P&L because once it's on your P&L, it's going to get gone zero by the end of the year. You can simply, I mean, let's look at it this way, guys. I just told you my speaking fee is seven to $10,000. What would you like your speaking fee to be? Yeah, start at $3,000, three to five, $1,000. Even if you generate a few speaking gigs within a year from publishing the book, and that's you being lazy, yeah? That's just being lazy. If after publishing a book in a span of a year, you don't generate the speaking gigs you've been dreaming at, it means you've been lazy, nothing else. So really, you can make money back. You can make 10x. We show people how to make 10x on their book. Imagine if you would reach within a span of a year or two, you would reach the $10,000 and get just one gig a month at the back of your book. That's $100,000 to $120,000. Is it going to happen overnight? No, but it will happen only if you have the return on investment mentality. Third thing is you're confused about the writing and publishing process. Guys, do not worry because this is our job. You see, when you come to someone like us, it is our job to help you resolve that problem of writing and or if you've written, finish your publishing in the best way possible. And I'll explain about that later in, in this session. Fourth, you're not sure you have the right content. We get that so much. I get people who are at least 10 to 15 years of experience, VP and above title. And they say, I've got this knowledge, I've got that. And they say, oh, but I'm not sure I've got the right content. I mean, if you cannot summarize just few lessons out of every year of experience that you've got in life, so you can put them together, all you need is about on average 20 to 30 minutes per chapter. And you can produce a chapter and in a total of five to six hours, you can actually produce a 150 to 200 page book. So seriously, it's time to stop believing in yourself, guys. You really, this is a self-belief issue. Muhammad Ali Klai says it's the lack of faith that makes people shy away from challenges. And I believe in myself and I know you guys believe in yourself. So I want you, everybody say it, you know, even if you're alone, say, I believe in myself. I hope you're doing it, okay? Because usually in a room, I get everybody to shout back. And the last and the funniest one of them is we'll do it tomorrow, yeah? My question to you is how long have you been saying tomorrow? How long has it been tomorrow where you haven't actually written the book, where you haven't even started writing the book, or you wrote it halfway and never finished it? You say tomorrow, or you finished it and never finished a publishing situation. Tomorrow never comes, and it's today. And I promise you guys, by the end of this session, I'll give you a lot of options and a lot of solutions of how you can get your book published in the next three to six months. If you are already written, you can finish in publishing in three months with us, all right? And if not, I'll explain to you the other options out in the market. Great, I hope with that, I gave you the two steps to tackle procrastination, so you're done with that. The third step is you need to think about three key things before you start writing a book. And this is these are excerpts that we pulled out from our strategy session that we do with our authors, so I'll give you some highlights. <clears throat> Obviously, step one, as I said, define what is your primary goal from publishing. The second thing is define your book topic and the best book topic ever is something that you are passionate about, something that you are good at and something that you have uh, offer value to the market and the market wants it. So let me repeat, imagine three circles. First circle is something that you are passionate about. Second circle is something that you are good at. Third circle is something that has market and people are willing to buy yeah, and pay for. That center point is the ideal book topic. Because if you write about something that you really love, but you don't have the skill set, then you're not going to be able to teach. If you write about something that you're really good at, you've been doing for 10 years, but you have no passion for, the book is going to sound very stale. And even if you write about something that you love, that you're really good at, let's say you love and you're really good at uh, how to perfectly put the cap on a water bottle. But there isn't enough people out there that will benefit from that. Then you're probably going to be the struggling artist who has a lot of passion, a lot of skill, but don't get the cash for it. So you need to think of all three. And remember, people don't pay you for your passion. They actually pay you for the value you add to them. So that's something that you're going to have to look into. 
And then what you need to do is you need to develop a, a, what we call a book concept sheet. The book concept sheet is a bit of a long sheet, so it's, I won't do, do it live on this call, but it will be in the PDF guide that we're going to send you or you're going to download uh, through Gotham's link, which includes talking about things, what inspired you to write the book, a summary of the book, the marketability, the readership, what problems are you solving, and the book elevator pitch. These are things you need to have just as a start before you even start writing the book. And even if you're halfway through writing, stop and go back and redo that work, okay? So I hope by now all of this is, you see, top-level thinking. We understood the number one reason, and then we went through getting over procrastination. We figured out strategic-level thinking about the book. Now, step number four is actually four steps to help you finish writing the book, possibly in a weekend if you wish, and even without typing a single word, if you're not a writer like me, by the way, I'm not, I'm not actually a writer, I'm an author. I have a lot of knowledge, but I don't like writing. So how to write a book in a weekend is very simple. A book project, first and foremost, is a project like everything else. And remember, I come from an event planning background. I used to handle multi-million dollar worth of projects, okay? So what you got to do is you got to put a project plan. And the project plan is, again, answering all the questions that we gave you so far. Step number two is you got to create an outline for the book. An outline for the book is basically deciding, this is the book topic. Here are the 10 chapters that I want to talk about. I'm going to talk about this, then this, then this, then this in a logical sequence. Then what you do is you create a sub outline. So you get topic, 10 chapters, you grab chapter number one and you break it down further. So you say chapter number one and then you break down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine key messages to do that. This is something I picked up typically from, God bless his soul, Professor Tony Buzan, inventor of mind mapping. You can simply do it in a bullet point manner or you can do it in a mind map. So you can put the book topic, the top 10 chapters around it, and then you branch out from each of the actual topics, how, what are you going to talk about in each of the chapters, the what, the why, the how, all these basics. And then you simply take those, you break it down and you put a plan for yourself. You say, this day, from this hour to this hour, I'm going to write about this topic or this chapter. This day, I'm going to write about this chapter and so on. All right. And key point number four is focus, focus, guys, focus, because so many people get to this step. They do a half ass plan and they never follow through on the plan because they go back where? To the four or five excuses that I shared with you. And that's why we start by taking away the excuses. When you focus, I promise you it'll be done. Now I'm hearing in the background without me even tuning into the words, I could hear in my head where majority of you are thinking. Most of you are saying, yeah, but I'm not actually a writer. I don't actually like writing a book. All right. So the best way to produce a book without even typing a single word is to simply speak. All of us are naturally born to speak first before we learn how to write. I'm assuming a lot of the people on this call are aspiring to be speakers or are speakers or speakers at the beginning of their journey or even advanced speakers. You simply speak the book. But once you create that system that we gave you, then what you do is you grab your phone and you start speaking. And Within a span of four to six hours, you can produce about 30 to 40,000 words, which brings you to 150 to 200 page book, guys. So this is close to a 200 page book. This is my book, yeah? This is, this is about 30 to 40,000 words, and that's as big as you want as a book. Don't even go beyond that, guys. I see people writing 80, nobody has the time to read. Even 20,000 words is not bad. This is pretty much, will be about 20,000. So still a decent size book, okay? So once you do that, you do the recording, you get it transcribed, now you got a book. So you got no excuses, guys, okay? Of course, this is a, a DIY approach. I explained to you the system top level. For those of you who have high value on, on their time, so people who are still early in their journey, they can't probably afford to get outsourced services. For those who are accelerated their career, who understand that, listen, when I do it with a professional coach, then come to us. We have what's called a guided author program. We handhold you from the idea stage up until we deliver the printed books to your doorstep anywhere in the world. And this whole thing happens in six months, which means if you do it by yourself and you're disciplined, you should be able to do it. So whether you have the money or not, you either have money or have time. 
if you don't have the money but have the time focus and do it i just gave you the steps or if you don't have the time you should have a lot of money because it because it means your time is very valuable and you have been very successful at what you're doing all right so these stages are up to the point that you actually have a manuscript now for those who have written before or all of you that are supposed to write based on this methodology you're going to get to a step which is the last step which is called from the publishing journey which is the actual publishing your publishing options okay typically what it was is there are two kinds there's something called traditional publishing and there's something called self-publishing and let me explain to you the benefit of each traditional publishing is the publishing as we all know it this is a publishing where you actually uh, go to a traditional publisher you knock the doors you get a literary agent and you spend six months maybe a year trying to get your idea or your manuscript approved by a publisher who says yes i'll take it from you okay now and they give you either a little bit of money up front or they give you a royalty deal. A royalty deal means you get three to 5% on average from whatever they sell. So if they sell the book for a dollar, you get three to five cents per book. And that's why I told you guys, not it's difficult to make a living purely from book sales until you hit an international level over years. Marshall Goldsmith said, I wrote 33 books. Finally, somebody bought one. Okay, that's a joke he always makes. It's like, you got to be patient to make a living purely from book writing. So you get 3 to 5% if you go to a traditional publisher, but the bigger fine print that nobody realizes is that you actually lose control over your book. So imagine this, you're going to work so hard for six months to produce a baby that's the, the knowledge that took years to learn, yeah, and then you spent months trying to put together, and then you're going to take this baby that you love, and you're going to give it to a publisher, and you're going to say, Take it away from me and just give me three to 5% and you have no more control. You can't even decide what picture is on the cover, what's written outside. You don't even get to the final decision on what goes inside. So really, this is only valuable as a deal if you are already a celebrity, you have a big social media following. So this is something that I would recommend uh, not to go for if you don't have those few criteria because even if you do there are better ways to do it and this model is simply broken i would not go for it the other end of the spectrum is what's called a diy or a do-it-yourself self-publishing so this is where you get a hundred percent control uh and a hundred percent responsibility of all the headache the best way i explain it's like an ikea or even yeah it's an ikea so if like you go you buy a pre-packed furniture. It's a simple white table with legs. It's a table round, you know, square with four legs. You screw them together. It gets complicated when you get bigger pieces of furniture because you hope it's going to work, but you end up spending a lot of time trying to put it together. Advantage, the cost is very, very, very low. Okay. Uh, the disadvantage is everything else because you're going to waste again a lot of time on trial and error so if your time is valuable this is not a good option if you're successful in your business this is not a good option and at the end of the day your book is going to look like it's self-published you know why because the finishing there's no way that the quality control you don't know it's like you're trying to cook something versus going to a professional restaurant to make it it's not as simple as just buying all ingredients and throwing it in, in a bowl the other thing is you know this is one of the things that add a lot of credibility in books having a publisher name, an international publisher name. So when we publish a book, it has Passionpreneur Publishing, Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. That gives you a lot of credibility for your book that this has been picked up by an international publisher. So really, this is a good option for people early in their career who do not have the buying power, not a good option for everybody else. So the question becomes, so what is the actual solution? Okay, the actual, the best solution for, for something like this is what emerged in the market recently is what's called independent publishing or hybrid publishing hybrid publishing is what's the best of both worlds with us and with any hybrid publisher there aren't as many out there and at least there aren't as many as professional like at our level there's only three or four in the world and a hybrid publisher gives you 100 percent control 100 percent decision making 100 percent of the money made from the book sales but you outsource all the headache to us so we give you turnkey solution from the beginning of idea, strategy. We do the transcription. We guide you on the outlining. If you don't want to write, you can record and send to us. We'll transcribe, we'll edit up until we print and deliver the books to your doorstep. 
of course the catch over here so it's too good to be true well nothing is too good to be true the reality is it's a service so we would charge you a fixed fee in exchange for making the book but remember if you are somebody who is successful thinking about i want to charge five to ten thousand dollars per my speaking or consulting gigs or coaching you know uh, then you should want to control 100 percent of your book and never ever give copyrights of your book to somebody else because that's I can't share it, but me and Gotham were in similar conversations with some of the international speakers who are trying to renegotiate buying back their book. And we're talking about close to a million dollars to buy the rights of the book. So really, if and when you're going to hit big, you don't want to be begging back for your baby and realize you signed the deal with the devil. OK, so why choose us over other hybrid publishers? Simply because we have passion for the topic. I myself, I come from a, from a speaking and a coaching background. I love personal transformation books. Time to market. While somebody else is knocking the door of a traditional publisher, we would have already published your book. So, you know, and you, you still get everything turnkey solution. Now, I always get people who say, yeah, but I still want a traditional publisher. I'm still dreaming of having penguins look on my book. Guess what? I, I make a joke. I say we're non-exclusive. Yes, you can date someone else. The minute we finish helping you publish the book, you can take it, walk into a publisher and say, listen, I've got this book. Would you publish it for me? Now you think of it, how much easier is it to go pitch this over maybe something that looks like this, which is just a bunch of scribbles or an idea of a book. And you go to a publisher, say, take my book, take my book, publish it versus here's a book that's already been published. See how it looks, see how nice it is, see how well designed it is. Would you publish it for me? You see, because you own 100% of your copyrights and you have professional files, we hand you over all your files, negotiating with the authors, uh, sorry, with the publishers as an author, you have a lot more power on your hand. Your percentages are gonna go from three to 5% up to potentially 10% because now it becomes more of a distribution deal. So you're really only going to the publisher to give you distribution, but not to do the actual genuine publishing work. So that really becomes part of your deal and the thing is with us we put your book on amazon kindle barnes and nobles apple books and 20 other online bookstores that give access to over 30 000, 39 000 retailers libraries schools universities through online ordering if your book adds value they're going to order it so really why why i don't understand why would you want to give rights to anybody else for your book so in summary for those who ask me about publishing your options are three you either keep knocking the doors and begging for a big publisher. I really hate that. And I don't personally recommend it for anyone, except if you are fiction publisher, uh, published author. So if you write novels, if you write fiction, if you write stories that are, have no base in reality, not transformation, traditional publishing is very good for that. Uh, the second option is self-publishing. If you're starting your career, if you have a lot of time, no value on your time, very low amount of income that you can use or invest at least, then definitely go self-publishing. Third option is you come to a hybrid publisher where we will help you write and publish the book. And if you have written it, we will only work with you on the publishing. We will launch you into other global platforms and least amount of effort from your side, you focus your efforts on promoting yourself using the book so you can convert and start selling yourself as a speaker, coach, or consultant, charging anywhere. Again, Gotham is here to vouch, but my, my coaching rate now is at $1,000 per session, and I don't take anybody for less than a package of three months, six sessions. So that's minimum contract, $6,000. I basically just don't move. Speaking, consulting, coaching, $6,000 is the figure that I wanna move. That's a long way from when I started begging someone to even allow me to be on stage for free. And all of that journey was because of a book. So really, guys, if if after all of this, I have not made you jump up and down in your seat thinking, how have I wasted so much time? Then I either did a very bad job or you guys are, are really not being present. OK, so. My bottom line message is, guys, you have a message to share. The world is waiting for your book. I gave you the whole roadmap. Whether you do it with us or not, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you become a published author. Uh, no sound, Gautam. You're on mute, I think. Thank you very much, Mustafa. It's been an absolute pleasure. I can absolutely vouch not only for you personally, as someone who's very passionate about making a difference in people's lives and i see this happening through the publishing business as well 
Um, oh, by the way, and, and we, we, we didn't, I mean, this is an unofficial announcement, but basically Gotham just published his book with us also, yeah? And, yes. and, and, I would and, just and just, yeah, yeah and, and just for the record, he did explore his options, by the way. He didn't come straight to us. He did go get competitive. He, he looked at all the packages. So, you know, for that, I'll leave Gotham to vouch for the value you will get if you come with us. But even if you don't come with us, I'm still happy to see people sharing, you know, uh sharing the thing sorry I'm, I'm i'm noticing some comments people saying hiba and other people are saying may you repeat last part connection has been dropped guys everything i have said i think this webinar is going to be recorded and it's going to be uploaded correct, correct. and yes. the publishing guide is going to be on a link that you can download from gotham so that's the best thing is we can't repeat now but please do watch the recording yeah no problem how many of you would like the publishing guide type yes in the chat box the publishing guide from Mustafa, how many of you would like to receive that? Just type yes in the chat box. So I can very much vouch for um, what Mustafa shared. I mean, I had reviewed several publishers globally, having been in the business for so long. Mustafa has been a dear friend of mine for many years and, uh, and a, a business partner in many ways. But yet I did explore with international publishers, publishers here in India as well. Many of you on this, on this webinar are based in India. And there were several options. And after doing a lot of due diligence, I can say with you, I went ahead with Mustafa and it was in the best decision I've made when it comes to publishing my book. My book is virtually ready. The cover's out. The majority of the content is out there. And um, I vouch for him personally, taking a personal interest with his phenomenal global team. And I'm uh, looking forward to releasing my book in the next month or so. And uh, I just want to reiterate, I did a lot of due diligence globally as well as here in India with options which were possibly even uh, more reasonable in terms of cost, but the quality- M the Much person. cheaper, actually, much cheaper, to be honest. But I mean, I mean, you even called me and you said, Mustafa, you're asking me for X dollars. This is costing yeah. me this much. But when we went through the actual model of how it, you see, it's it's like chemistry. It's not a question of, you know, are you getting a piece of chicken and a piece of chicken? It doesn't work this way. It's it's the chemistry of everything we're offering is that's gonna what's going to give you ROI on the book. I, I just want to also, I'm reading on your behalf, Gotham, for you, a few people asking where can they get the recording, actually. Yes, so the recording would be sent exactly 24 hours after this count. So this time tomorrow, you receive an email in your inbox. There'll also be a reminder a couple of days later, but you receive an email uh, with the recording of today's session. If for any reason you don't receive it, you have our details in the email invite, but it will be in your inbox this time tomorrow. And the download um, link will be in the same email, yeah? Yes, the link has also been shared. As you can see, my team members on the chat, his name is Rinkesh. He shared the publishing guide link. If you click on that, you'll have a chance to receive the publishing guide, just entering your name and details, and you'll receive the complete publishing guide of how to make this uh, make this happen. So feel free to click there. I'll also share it in the email uh, again tomorrow, and you'll be able to take that forward. We, we um, have a few people here asking about costs for the book. Guys, if you are serious about coming into either the publishing or whatever it is, my suggestion is the following. When you click either email Gotham directly and he will connect you with me by CC on the email, but either way, I need you to download the publishing guide before we speak. So you, you have answered a lot of those questions. Uh, for all of you who will download the publishing guide, the system will automatically after that qualify you to offer you a one-to-one -one free coaching call with me, okay? I don't take on as many, so you have to forgive me. I can't take everybody. As I said, I'm, I'm charging $1,000 a session. So if you really want clarity, I can help you, but the system is going to qualify you. And please, guys, sometimes people go through the survey and try to manipulate the questions so they, uh, they, they bypass the system to get the session. You're not going to benefit because if the system qualified, it means you are not ready to be speaking to me because the kind of coaching I'm gonna give you requires you to be ready, which reminds me, by the way, Gotham, maybe I will share another great news now. Um, for those of you who are still not sure about the investment and or the effort behind it. So whether it's financial investment or time investment, so if you feel, listen, the and, and the system is gonna qualify you, our publishing packages, okay, are, you know, multi thousand dollars. So it goes anywhere from six to seventeen thousand dollars, depending of, of the level of service that you want. And if this is way too high for you, what we have is we have something which is now a new system we're launching, which was my first book. It's a collaborative book. 
So we are collecting a handful of people, each of them in their own specialty, writing one book about a specific topic. They're all talking about it. So the same way I told you my first book was about success and all authors were talking about success. We are putting together a book which is around a single topic. We are taking applications. The applications is not open yet, but the system is going to qualify you and it will automatically tell you that you fit best for a guided author or if you fit best for the collaborative book. And if you fit best for the collaborative book, once you're there, trust the system, guys. Don't keep chasing. It will collect your email. It will put you on a list. And I promise you, you will get a personal email from me within a maximum a week from today. Mark my words. Today is 18 April before before the coming end of coming week. So before even the 20, maybe 5th or 26th of April, I will personally send you an email following up and sending you more info on the collaborative book. And that's a very, very low denominator. The other option, which is still not on the market, but I'm happy to offer it for Gotham's crowd, is we're offering our author portal. Our author portal basically is all the knowledge that I told you. So all the blueprinting system, the recording system, the publishing system, and more importantly, we do regular weekly and sometimes twice a week webinars teaching you how to monetize your book, how to market your book, how to find your market niche, how to get speaking gigs and so on. And we put all of those recording for people that miss it on the author portal. So you can DIY do the whole thing yourself. If this thing also is for you, the system is going to put you on that list of either collaborative book or author portal. And I'd be happy to offer you that. It's just a small investment, you know, that you should not miss out on. And if below that you don't even want to do or spend or invest and you still don't want to even write a book and you want things to happen for you, my question to you, I think actually Gotham had a, had a vote by this for, for a question now. Yeah. Sorry. Some yeah, we question. had another vote. I think we had a poll for how serious are people about writing their book now. Yeah, I do. Let's uh, take the opportunity um, to do that poll. Here it is. It's on a scale of one to five. How ready are you to start your own book? Five is you're really committed, and one if you still remain unsure. So, are you unsure, ready, or committed? One to five, please uh, go ahead and uh, vote now. All right, let's see the, the, the level of seriousness after all of this session. So guys, the question, the question is on a scale from one to five, five being the highest, how ready are you to start writing and or publishing your book now? As in straight after the session, you are going to go take action. All right, let's see where the numbers are. Beautiful. So we, we have so far close to 50% are saying five out of top five, five stars. So high five to all of you guys that have said that. Uh, we've got about 30% in the same four, which is still good. I would probably, if you ever do the survey and you qualify to speak to me, we will see what is that missing link. And it's understandable. Once you download the publishing guide, guys, once you download the publishing guide, you will answer the questions and that four is going to become a five. We've got about 10% who are three or below. My honest opinion and what I will tell you guys, anything below the four, you're probably never going to happen. It's never going to happen. You really want to take the intention and decision to either go on writing and publishing your book or pass the session, just make peace that the book is not going to happen. Because guess what? You do not win the lottery unless you buy the ticket at least. So really, if you're anywhere below four, you're probably hoping to win a lottery ticket that you don't have. So well done, guys. Thank you very much. I'm really honored to have shared all of this with you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mustafa. Just wanted to summarize uh, the three the options that I understood. One is the full turnkey solution of being um, an author from start uh, to scratch. Sorry, allow, me, allow me to map it out from the highest back down to the lowest in cost yeah. terms. Our, our Top option is what's called guided author. This is where we literally guide you starting with a strategy session with me and we handhold you from that throughout the whole writing, recording, strategy, publishing, editing, even your book cover. You get consulting and coaching on, you know, with your book we did. We do over 20 to 50 different variations of a book cover design to get you an award winning cover. Then we do the publishing, editing, online distribution. We create your marketing kit. We create an author page for you on our website online press releases, social media, the whole shebang. The next layer is the publishing, what we call international author. So this is only for people who have finished writing by themselves. And I gave you the roadmap, guys. 
you finish writing your book, you come to us for publishing. We still give you everything that I mentioned there, but just without the support on the writing part. For people who still don't have the money to invest on that part, but still need help in writing, okay, you have one of two options. You either come on our author portal where you actually buy all the copyrights and the know-how of everything that we are teaching to people one-to-one, -one, but we just give it to you and you do it by yourself. The beauty is our structure and system is designed to create a book that becomes a coaching manual, that becomes an online course. By the way, this whole recording system got developed heavily by me reverse engineering my online course into a book. So this system is designed to actually go from a book to an online course, from a book to a webinar, from a book to a coaching manual and so on. And then, or you can be, if you really don't, not sure if you want to put that many hours into writing your own full book, okay? You guys will have to then buy into our collaborative book or the co-author book, all right? And that also is something that is, very low ticket item. So those, either the author portal, yes, it is low ticket item, but you have to put a lot of effort. On this one, you only write one chapter, but you get a dedicated book cover with your picture on it. So really what we do is we choose different, uh, all, different experts in different areas. So there's no crossover. The probability of bumping into somebody you know who's in the same book is not gonna happen. If you're in finance, someone else is in digital marketing. Same title, but your own picture on the book. So those are the lower end from an investment point of view. All of them get five-star support, five-star service. And we are potentially, we can give a guarantee, but my book hit Amazon number one bestseller. We are potentially saying we will do our best to make sure this collaborative book will hit an Amazon bestseller top 10. We can't guarantee anything because you know it's not fair to guarantee, but we know what it takes to get a book to a number one. And for those asking me about the prices, guys, I don't share any prices now. We don't, we're not, it's not a market. We're just sharing what we offer over here. If you are interested, you go to the link, you download the publishing guide and the system will qualify you and it will offer you the option that is most suitable to you based on your level of seriousness and money that you want to invest. Thank you, Mustafa. I, I can vouch to many other friends in Dubai who've gone to the guided author, the complete turnkey solution and they've had great feedback. Personally, for my Breaking Bread book, I was in option number two, where I've you know, written the book. And again, um, a lot of it was done where it's audio recording, transcribed, consolidated. And then I've literally handed over, I felt, from start to finish his team. And in his team, there's someone managing the design and the cover. There's someone else for editing. There's someone for proofreading. They've got expert team members in each area and every step. And once again, the publishing guide has been shared by Rinkesh. It will be in the mail. Honestly, by going through that, you will understand the way you answer the question will guide you and Mustafa and his team in what's the best route for you. So go through that. It'll help you, give you a lot of clarity in what's best for you based on how you answer it. So that is the best solution. Um, and anyone, again, guys, I'm getting so many questions here. Where do I apply? Guys, the publishing guide link, Rinkesh keeps posting it. Please click on it, download the publishing guide, and then it will guide you through a survey which is gonna qualify you, or you can send an email directly to Rinkesh or to Gotham, okay? Great, great. Thank you very much, Mr. Fah, and thank you for all of you being with here. Before we wrap up, I just wanna have a couple of quick announcements. Um, Odi, just quickly back to the slides, if I may. Mm -hmm. So here we are. So for those of you, that is the book cover of mine, uh, which I've done and published through Mustafa. And uh, the book will, uh, I will share details of that when we launch officially. Uh, feel free to take a picture and connect with me on LinkedIn. It'll be a pleasure to stay connected. And if you have any more questions or messages, you're welcome to reach out to me. And last but not least, a reminder to you, this is a great opportunity. You found great value in the session here by Mustafa, um, which we provided as our gesture of goodwill to continue providing learning. But let's support the children who we're supporting and providing meals. There's a link again provided in the chat may, box. May, may I say something, guys? Can I ask you a question? Did, did everybody get value on this session so far? All right, so this is question number one. Question number two, does anybody feel like giving Gotham a gift on his birthday? All right. <laughs> So if you answered yes to either of those questions, possibly both or sometimes either of them, maybe I did a very bad job, but you still want to give a gift to Gotham. I say the best gift is the gift of giving. So if you feel I've gifted you knowledge today that is valuable, 
or you want to you know pay back to me or to Gotham, please do support the CSR initiative. Uh, there are people that need your help out there. We've put our time here to help you. Please do help someone else pay it forward so the world can keep going. Thank you very much, Mr. Paul. Thank you very much. On behalf of Mr. and myself, thank you once again for being with us today and um, look forward to staying closely connected. We will send you an email and um, just a quick closing announcement. This is our next webinar coming up on Wednesday, which is with Arthur Karmazi on why COVID-19 crisis is ideal to improve your organizational culture. For corporates out there, you're welcome to attend and Thank you once again for being with us today. Any closing comments, Mustafa, before we wrap up? Thank you very much and happy birthday to anybody who's a lot of people messaging saying my birthday too. Happy birthday to all of you. And my message again, the best gift is a gift of giving. It is your birthday. Donate money to someone who's in need as a gift to yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mustafa. And thank each and every one of you for being on our session today. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. Bye.